Hey, and welcome back for another 3D how-to video. In programs like 1-2-3D Design, there are a lot of tools that you can use to go from creating very blocky objects and, and very uh, mechanical looking things to a lot more organic shapes and a lot more rounded out and natural looking objects. One tool that you can use in 1-2-3D Design to accomplish that is the Fillet tool. Now, in some of my 1-2-3-D speed designs and even my 3-D how-to videos, I've shown you how you can fill at the edges of objects, but what I haven't shown yet is how you could blend the edges between two separate objects. Today, I'm going to point out the tools that you can use to accomplish this by creating a hand for either a glove or a character that you want to create in the program. So go ahead and open up 1-2-3-D design if you want to follow along, and we'll get started. So first, what I'm going to do is just roughly sketch out a hand. Now we're just going to extrude this out to create a solid object by going to Construct and Extrude. And now in a separate sketch, I'm going to create the fingers. Now I realize that this is incredibly rough, but for the purposes of this demonstration, this is completely fine. So let's just go ahead and extrude these out to be uh, solid objects. Go to Construct Extrude. We'll extrude them to be about this large. There we go. So normally, if you want to use the Fillet tool to blend an edge and round off a, a really sharp corner to an object, you go to Modify, Fillet, and you can see that you can actually select the edge of an object and you can move the arrow to round it out to any radius that you want, or you could type it in down here at the bottom of the screen where it says fillet radius. But what if we actually wanted to blend the area in between the fingers in the main part of the hand? If we go to modify fillet, we actually can't select any of these corners that connect the fingers to the rest of the hand. That's because they're two separate objects. We actually created them from separate sketches. So what we want to do is combine them into one object so it recognizes the corner connecting the two pieces and we can blend them together. So to do that, we go to Combine, Merge, and we just select the two objects that we want to combine. So let's select the main part of the hand and select the fingers. Click Enter. And now you can see when you highlight it, it actually uh, recognizes and highlights the whole object uh, connecting the fingers and the rest of the hand. So let's go ahead and try this again. Let's go to Modify, Fillet, and you can see that it highlights the edge in between the finger and the hand. So let's go ahead and move the air out. And you're limited by uh, the geometry that you created on how uh, large of a radius you can make, but let's try this. There we go. So that's actually starting to look like the main uh, webbing or the main parts that connect the fingers to the rest of the hand. Let's go ahead and see how far we can take this with the rest of the hand and blend all the edges that we want. Okay, so you remember how roughly shaped this hand was before we actually used the fillet tool. And once we combined all the objects together, we were able to blend the edges in between the objects and blend the edges of the actual objects themselves, like the finger or the perimeter of the hand. So go ahead and give this method a try, and if you find out a better one to create the same results, please leave it down in the comments below. Also, if you have any other suggestions or requests for future videos, please leave those down in the comments as well. If this video has helped you out in your 3D modeling, please like and subscribe so you can get future videos. Also, don't forget to check the description for my free guide to how to 3D print without a 3D printer. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.